Yes. Uh, Kaylee, in the last day, uh, 96 uh, people in Tulsa have contracted the coronavirus. Uh, wondering about this rally coming up on Saturday. Will the president or the White House take responsibility if people get sick? and catch the coronavirus at this rally on Saturday? So the so campaign has taken certain, certain measures, measures on, on to make to sure this is a safe rally, rally temperature, temperature checks, hand sanitizers, sanitizers and masks, and masks so, we so we are taking precautions. So you're not requiring people to wear masks? They will, they will be given a mask. mask. It's up to them whether to make that decision. CDC guidelines, guidelines are recommended but not required. And the CDC guidelines uh, suggest that people practice social distancing. You're not going to be able to practice social distancing in a rally with thousands of people. So aren't you, in essence, bringing people to a rally where they won't be abiding by it's, those guidelines? It's the personal, personal choice of individuals, individuals as to what to do, but, but if we want to talk about internal, internal coherence, coherence um, I, believe I believe that the that media, media needs, needs to work, to work on, on internal coherence. coherence. This, this wonderful, wonderful New York Post, Post story, I don't think Stephen Nelson is here, but good job to the New York Post, highlights the hypocrisy of the media where this is okay, protesting, this is not okay, Trump rallies. Um, it's, it's really, really remarkable, remarkable, and I think the American, American people have taken notice, notice when, for instance, for instance NBC, NBC tweets at 4.05 p.m. Um, um, on June 14th, 14th rally, rally for black trans, trans lives draws, draws packed crowd to Brooklyn Museum Plaza, Plaza seem, seem, seeming to be lauding, lauding the protests. And then less than an hour and a half later, later they, they say President Trump, Trump plans, plans to rally, but health experts, experts are questioning, are questioning that, decision. that decision. CBS had a similar, logically inconsistent tweet. protesters protesting against injustice, against racism, and police brutality. This is a rally, a political rally. They're not going to be demonstrating for any kind of cause other than... And get sick. Jim, and, you know, Jim. Been to so have you, by the way. Yes. Are elderly, uh, probably have uh, pre existing conditions that might put them at risk uh, for serious complications if they catch this virus. So, first, so first let me know let you've me been, know, been to rallies, rallies, these Trump these rallies. rallies. Um, um, we, do we do rally in support of something. We rally in support of the president who got us the lowest number of black unemployment in the history of our country and paychecks going up. We rally that HBCU funding for historically black colleges and universities is permanent because of President Trump. We rally, but to say no, because you, Jim, you suggested, you suggested that we don't rally on behalf of anything. So let me note one more thing. We rally on behalf of, we rally on behalf of criminal justice reform in the First Step Act, which President Obama and Vice President Biden talked about, but we did. And I would and I note would this, if we, if we want, want to talk, talk about, about the efficacy, efficacy of what we're doing, 1,300 health experts signed a letter about the protest saying, we do not we condemn not these gatherings, gatherings, we support them as vital. vital. So, so you have the health experts on one side saying this, and then all of a sudden a Trump rally is different. And I've taken five of your questions. Work on your internal cohesion and get back to me. answered five of your questions, and last, I, I said to you we are taking precautions, I said to you we're taking precautions, mask, hand sanitizer, Zeke. Kaylee, so for attendees at this rally, the campaign required to sign a waiver, the 